this video we're going to explore how to create, create a room schedule in order to check square footages within your affordable home design. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this little demo house to kind of show you how to A, go through and place rooms via room tags and to go through and look at separating different areas of your house to account for square footage. So I'm going to click on under room and area, I'm going to click on room. And here within your within your various rooms, I'm going to start off with clicking inside of boundaries. So you're going to notice rooms are calculated by inside wall to inside wall. And you're going to go through and see how those are highlighted. And we're going to click to place the rooms. And I'm going to click in each one of these that have a boundary. One thing you're going to notice is this large area right here. Maybe I don't want it to be one giant, be one giant kind of bounded room, maybe it's kind of an open concept floor plan, and I want to go through and account for the different spaces that aren't walled off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to stop placing those. On the room tags, I can select the word room, and maybe I can go through and call this like bedroom one. Maybe this is the bathroom. This is not really a good floor plan design, but this will go through and teach the concept of, of creating a room schedule. All right, the option we'll want is called a room separator. We want to go through and separate the various rooms, separation line between walls that don't have a, uh, or floor plan to use separation lines to have room boundaries. So maybe like when I click room separator, I'm on this line tool. Maybe I need to go from this corner to here to separate this room out. So if you need to, you can zoom in and kind of see where I'm kind of hitting that at. And then maybe I need to go through from this corner. If I need to, I can kind of click on this on this corner here. But this will get me to the wall center. Kind of see where I was picking up the corner. And it looks like I'm not quite hitting the corner there. But here's what you can do after I've placed it. I can go ahead and kind of drag. Let me see if I can get my line to come out here. So there I'm connecting from that corner. There we go. And then I can go ahead and see if I can. And I may go through and do something like this if I need to. Room separator. Connect off the corner. There we go. All right, so now I've got these separation boundaries for our room. So now I can go ahead and click room. Maybe I go ahead and make this boundary area within the separator. And then I have here. And I have here. So my room tags, hit escape a couple times to stop running that. Maybe we put this as dining. If I need to move the room tag, the little blue arrow down at the bottom we'll go through and do so kitchen maybe this is living room all right so these are already created what I can do now is I can go ahead and go in my project browser scroll down to schedule slash quantities right click new schedule slash quantity I want to scroll down this is all alphabetical until I find the word rooms say OK. I'm going to add over what categories or fields that I want to populate our table with. So I'm going to choose name, click to add that over, this little green button, and I want to add over the area. From here, I want to go ahead and go to the sorting and grouping tab. I want it to sort by the name in ascending order, and I want to go through and have it calculate the grand totals. Then I'm going to go to formatting, choose area down here at the bottom, choose it to calculate the totals. After I'm done, I'm going to say OK. When I say OK, it's going to generate a room schedule with the room square footages and then the total square foot and how many rooms that I have. So this will go through and give you an idea of what kind of sizes that your room is, uh, various rooms, as well as your overall house. So when I go back to my floor plan view, now the only thing is 
you may go through and notice that as you go to place furniture and things like that, it may get kind of cumbersome. Maybe you don't want the line separators and maybe you don't want the room tags on there for right now. So if I go through and go over here to the property spout, visibility graphics, I can also hit VV on my keyboard. I'm going to, in the visibility graphics window here, I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to take off under model category. So I want to find lines click the little plus sign to expand and I want to just take off the room separation lines hit apply if I want to check it I can see the lines are now not visible on our floor plan I'm gonna go over to annotation categories and the one I'm gonna search for is called room tags uncheck hit apply and now there's our room tags hidden so that will go through and take care of that and now We'll go through and be able to do do some add in our different materials. So you'll see the room boundaries. We'll go through the modify under the floors. Those will still be selectable, but for right now I'm gonna hit escape to, to undo those. And now we can go through and go back to working with them. So again, this finishes out your floor plan or your schedule will be down here in your project browser. Hit the plus sign, room schedule, double click. This will bring you back to the table to be able to go through and look at it. This video finishes up how to create a room schedule and to check what are your square footages for each room as well as the overall square footage of your affordable home.